Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Cara Downton and today I've done this no neck illusion which is so crazy. It's a really quick and easy look to do actually. Obviously it looks a lot better when your hair's at the front just because I don't have a black background. And I also want to say a huge thank you to everyone for being so supportive in my first video. It like meant so much and just like reading the comments everyone's been so lovely and it was nice. But if you guys would like to see more videos like this from me and how to do some of the illusions that I do over on my Instagram, which will be linked down below, then just comment down below and I can get that sorted. So remember to tag me if you do recreate this look. I'm just going to mention quickly my lip colour. So I use the Revolution Pro lipstick. This is in the shade Matte Red 106 Fever. I'm gonna do a little swatch for you guys. And it's literally so pigmented. And then I also use the Ultra Blotted Lip from ColourPop in the shade Swing Away. And this one's more of a bright red, I would say. So I'm just using those two shades. Revolution Pro lipsticks are actually one of my favourite lipsticks. If you do want to see how I did this, then please keep on watching. Okay, so I'm just going to start off by doing like the outline of the circle. It's not really going to be circles, it's more going to be like quite squished. But to do that, I'm going to be using my Natural Collection lip liner. This is in the shade... Almond. You can use any lip liner or you can just use like a white pencil. So I'm going to draw quite a squished circle. You just want to draw the size that is best for you. We will be going in with like foundation and everything. Oh it broke! That is so annoying! Okay, I'm just going to use some other random lip liner. Okay, so that's the shape that I'm going to be using. For foundation, just to go like inside, so the eyeshadow sticks, I'm just going to be using my Colourpop foundation. This is a no filter foundation and I do really like this, it's just... <coughs> It's just a little bit light for me, but it is a really good foundation. What I'm going to do is fill in the inside. I can't actually remember who I got inspiration off to, to um, do this look. I'll link it in the description below. Okay, and then to set that a little bit, I'm going to be using my CYO powder in the shade clear this is a loose powder so i'm just going to get this massive fluffy brush and just like that oh so much and just literally pat it over oh my god i filmed this video last night and i just had to re-record it because i just look so moody which isn't cute so i'm going to be going in with my beauty bay palette and this is the nude one. I'm going to go in with the shade Take a Hike. And I'm just going to start off by filling the bottom. It doesn't matter if we like go outside the lines that we did because we can just clean them up. Right, I'm just going to start bringing that up a little bit higher. And then taking that same shade again, I'm just going to drag it up like that and I'm just going to keep on adding it because the foundation is getting rid of it a little bit and then just taking like a dense fluffy brush I'm just going to buff that in just so it all mm, sort of goes together okay so now that's all blended together I'm just going to go in with the shade domino effect which is just a black and I'm just going to darken it up right at the bottom. And I'm just going to keep blending. Because, you know. You gotta do what you gotta do. Right, and then I'm just going to go in with the black from the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm just going to sort of make like 
a circle at the bottom. I want to make this area look a little bit more brown. And then I'm just going to take a tiny bit of that Colourpop Cosmetics foundation. I'm just going to put it around the top of the circle. Oh my god, if I don't pass English or maths, I would cry. Literally cry. I tried so hard with English. I'm kind of scared. The results today is like... I don't even know when it is. It's in August sometime. The black again. And I'm literally going to stamp it. Anyways, that is the circle all done. I'm going to go round it with a baby wipe just because it looks a bit messy at the moment. I'm just going to be using these Boots Moisturising Cleansing Facial Wipes. Okay, so I've cleaned all that up and now I'm going to go in with concealer. I'm just going to go around the edges. Make it a little bit lighter. Right, that looks like a good circle. I'm not actually going to blend this out too much just because I want it to look a little bit more raised. This face paint is from Snazaroo. I love their face paints, they're so good. Oh, it's not even showing up that much because I've just put the foundation down and I'm still wet. But oh well, we can make it work. That's better. Right, now that's all done, I need to go in with the black. And now this is where it will actually look like I have no neck, obviously. So it's just going to completely erase my neck. I'm going to draw the outline with... What's this called? With eyeliner. And this is the Real Mall London Glam Eyes Professional Liquid Liner Eyeliner. Liquid Professional. It's just eyeliner. I'm going to line... The top and what I'm going to do is literally drag it down and it almost make a shape of an arm right so that's my outline and now I'm going to go in with my face paints this again is from Snazaroo and I'm just gonna put some water on it and then start filling in my body swirl that around a little I'm just gonna start outlining it the one annoying thing about doing illusions especially in a video is the fact that it takes so long like obviously all videos are going to take long but i'm just not used to it because obviously i don't film but i'm just gonna keep outlining this Okay, and now I'm just going to go in with a massive dense brush and just swirl it around and just start to fill in my neck. It's already coming together. Woo! As soon as I do this side, then I'm basically done. By the way, obviously I'm using a phone to record all my videos. So if I keep looking here instead of here, it's because I can see myself. I need to do this with my right hand because I can't do anything with my left. Obviously it's not done yet because I still need to go over the black again. But where's my neck gone? Do we know her? Oh my god, it's actually coming together. I'm going to go in with the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade C2. And I'm literally just going to outline my body. But I'm just going to blend it in a little bit more. Completing a look is literally like the biggest accomplishment like ever because it takes so long to do and then normally well normally my looks take me about three hours which is insane. So this is today's look all complete. It literally turned out 
how I wanted it to. I said before, it's just a really quick, easy look to do. And remember to tag me in it if you do recreate this, because I do want to see what, how you guys do it. But thank you guys so much for watching if you made it this far. And I just want to say a huge thank you again for being so supportive. Remember to like, comment, subscribe and comment down below the video you guys would like to see next from me. And yeah, see you guys in my next video.